Hi guys, it's Whitney. Um, I just wanted to give you an update on how my appointment went today. Um, I did just get off work, so I'm sorry I didn't change. I still dressed up and um, my hair doesn't look all that great. But, you know. Um, anyway, so my appointment was this morning before work and it was at 8.45. Um, they gave me this paper with instructions on what to do beforehand um, and it pretty much tells you to empty your bladder uh, two hours prior to appointment and drink 32 ounces of water or juice finish one hour before your appointment and do not use the restroom. Well, um, I only drank about 24 ounces of water because I pee like a racehorse so I was like I, I don't want to have to stop during the actual um, ultrasound. So, um, what I went in for was a tra transvaginal ultra ultrasound, sorry, and um, pretty much what that is, is it's the ultrasound like you would get when you're pregnant, so it's just right on your stomach, and then also in, uh, vaginally, so. Um, pretty much I had to figure out, or we were trying to figure out if my uterus was tilted or, you know, if it was shaped differently or what was going on with it. So my appointment um, was at 8.45. I went in there about 8 o'clock, finished my water. Um, I was brought back and David was able to be in there with me. Um, and then um, after that, then we had um, him give me like some sheets to put over my um, pants and then he just put warm jelly on my stomach and we went ahead and did um, the actual um, abdominal ultrasound and then after that, don't make me turn around the camera, <laughs> and then after that um, we, uh, he was like pressing on my stomach and my bladder and it was really uncomfortable and it hurt really bad and I was like oh my gosh I'm about to pee myself. So he was kind of joking around too so I kept laughing and he was like yeah, it's probably not helping them making you laugh, and so it wasn't. Um, and then after that, um, we I went and used the restroom to empty my bladder. Excuse me. And then I uh, came back in the room. I undressed from the waist down, and then he gave me a sheet, and he had to go grab a um, female, uh, I guess, person to watch him. And she came in the room and then he came in um, and I just waited there and then he gave me the wand. It's actually like this long, probably like that thick and maybe a little thicker, I don't know. But um, he put like the warm jelly on that too and then he just um, passed it to me underneath the, um, the sheet that was over top of me. And then um, he had me actually insert it. And then so he kind of like did the, um, he was like moving around and checking the ovaries, making sure that they were okay and checking my uterus again um, and taking pictures for the doctor. And then after that, um, it was pretty, pretty quick. Um, after that, he went and talked to the doctor and gave him all that, um, all the pictures and checked went to check to see if he needed any more pictures done. Um, and then I went and used the restroom again, came back, and then he came back and um, pretty much just told me that my uterus is like the opposite of what's normal. So, you know, if your uterus is supposed to go forward, mine goes backwards. And I was going to read you what it says on fertility. And how it affects it because I looked it up afterwards and it says that um, uterus position has no effect on fertility a tipped uterus will usually right itself during the 10th and 11th week of pregnancy so what my uterus is called is it's retroverted or retroflexed um, he called it retroflex but it's actually the proper name is retroverted. And so it's supposed to fix itself in the 10, 10th and 12th week of pregnancy so it won't give you as bad of uh, back pain. 
um, but that would explain why I my back hurts all the time um, so especially like when I have been pregnant before it's like hurt really bad and so he said that um, that's that's a normal sign of um, having a retroverted uterus which I never knew so that's kind of interesting um, I didn't even know that that could affect it so um, but he said that it shouldn't be a problem with fertility because he him and his wife have had um, two kids and she's never had a problem getting pregnant so um, now I'm just waiting for my appointment on the 12th next Tuesday and then I will get my blood drawn and I'll get all the other tests done for actually um, checking to see with what's going on with fertility and or infertility whichever it is um, and then I I will have a follow-up appointment with my doctor on the 22nd of this month and um, then we'll discuss our options and see what we're gonna do to go further with this um, and if there is anything that we really can do um, and then hopefully I can give you guys some great news by this June or July or whenever hopefully by the time we move which um, will be August or September so hopefully um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and following. Um, I've been praying for you ladies that are trying to conceive. I know that it's very difficult to get through. And um, I pray every night for you guys, so I hope that you will also put me in your prayers. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and continue to watch and follow me and subscribe. So I will talk to you next time. Bye.